If you are new here, welcome and ex ignore the extremely messy hair. So today I am doing day six of my 90 of palettes and it's a collab with my wonderful friend Renee using the three palettes from Cara Beauty to create this look. So if you want to see what colors I got, how I created this look with them, well then just keep watching. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because it will help my channel. It lets YouTube know that you like seeing my content. Just stay tuned. So today I am doing a fun collab with my girl, Beauty and More with Renee. And what we're doing is we're taking the three Cara Beauty palettes. We're pulling two shades from each palette to do an eye look. Now, I randomly picked her shades and she randomly picked mine. We did the generator. I have not opened these to look at the colors that we have yet. So, we're going to do that together. Let's see what we get. I don't know. Should I? Yeah. Time to decide where to put them. So we got eight, which is that. Two, which is the shade allowed. That. I'm just putting a little line underneath them so I know. Eight and two. And then on purple haze, I got 9 and 12. Whoop. 8, 9. So we got this called shades. And then I got wax. Very similar. And then on Girl Scout, I got 11 and 4. So, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 4. So I got mostly mattes and one shimmer. That's that. And clear eyes is the shimmer I got. So those are the shades I got. Now, we're going to create an eye look. This is going to be fun. So, 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 what color, what color do we want to start with? I think we'll start with the shade Loud, because that'll be a decent transition color. Some brushes where I can reach them. So first we're just going to take this and we're going to go in with the shade Loud, which is that neutral looking one. And not at all what I expected, but hey, it's alright. We're going to just take that. So if y'all don't have Renee, I, I just highly, highly recommend you hop on over and join her channel. She does unboxings, she does tags, she does get ready with me's. Um, she's just a real sweet person. I love her to death. We've become pretty close. And, uh, yeah, you guys will love her, like I do. Then we have the shade Cannabis right here. That 
is our second color. So I'm going to take that on the same brush and I'm just going to take that right into the crease. Not above it, but right into it. So I love doing these palette bingo type things because they take you out of your comfort zone. And you get to play with uh, different colors. Okay, so we've got the orange on now. I'm going to go into the purples. First, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to just blend these two together. Nothing extra on it. So we don't have any harsh lines. Then I'm going to go in with shades. I'm going to go with that on the lid. I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to go into this one and I'm just going to pack that all over the lid. I only got one shimmer so we're going to have a pretty matte look which is fine with me. These palettes are pretty pigmented. I like that. There's hardly any fallout. So I'll go back in with that. I blend. Don't want to lose any colors. Just like that. So with this darker purple, I'm going to put that on the outside. So is anybody I'm going to pick up that new Norvina that's coming out on Monday. I had the other three. I can't wait. It's such a pretty palette. Okay. They literally almost look like the same color on the eye. Go in with a fluffier brush and see if we can. So that is the purple shades, and then next we've got the green shades, which is 11 and 4. Now 11 I'm going to put under the eye, 4 I'm going to take that, and I'm going to put that all, ooh, loud, all over the lid. That is so pretty. I wasn't expecting that. In the pan, I mean, it looks pretty, but usually when you translate it on the eye, it's not as opaque as it is in the pan. But that is super pretty. So I'm going to hop off and do my base, and then we'll come back on and put that shade under the eye. Okay, so we're going to go under the eye with the shade Kush. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty. I'm loving that shade. And then I'm just going to take the brush that we used. Well, if I can find it. Or the purple. And I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. We need to pack some of that in the other corner, too. I'm just going to put it right here. We're going to darken up that outer corner a little bit with that. I'm 
just like that. Super pretty. Okay. So we have that look done. I'm just going to go in with black on the waterline because, well, we've got enough color on the eyes, don't we? Don't want to open. I need to sharpen her today. So this will be day six, and even though I used three different palettes, we're just going to count it for one day. So, I'm just going in with my Dollar Tree mascara that I absolutely have fallen in love with. And we're going to finish off this look. Yo, this mascara is pretty good. I can't believe it's only a dollar. I went and looked to see if they had more. And they only had it in colorful ones. But, I like it. Now this is certainly a look that you could pop lashes on with. And it would make the look look better but we all know I am lash challenged and now we're going to pop on a lip I'm using the um, C Color Cosmetics it's, I think it's a dupe for a Jeffree Star shade, but there's no shade on it. It's just like a pumpkin shade. And that is the final look doing the palette bingo with my lovely girl Renee. I hope you'll go over to her channel and watch her video and give her the same love you give me. And if you are here from Renee's channel, welcome. Hope you hit that subscribe button and come with us on our journey. So until mm, lovely. So until next time, ladies and gents, let's build each other up, be proud of who we are, and always stay beautiful. Much love.